Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I know there's a couple th things here that they've broken promises on the Conservatives. They broke a promise when they promised to bring in a price on carbon. They broke a promise when they promised to remove the GST uh, on home heating. Madam Speaker, this is something they had in the last couple of campaigns. And then they bring forward a motion today that's unenforce uh, unenforceable in, in many of the jurisdictions in this country. Madam Speaker, we need to have a real conversation. And the member talked about the disconnect between um, you know, the debt and, and uh, what she's not talking about is the disconnect between the record profits. And you don't need experts. I can tell you, everyday Canadians know that when big corporations are having record profits in the hundreds of billions of dollars, and the government's not charging an excess profit tax, like many countries, the UK, other conservative governments around the world, Madam Speaker, Germany have excess profit tax. They also have carbon taxes, Madam Speaker, in the EU, Japan, UK, New Zealand, Sweden, Norway. When will the conservatives get on board? Madam Speaker, and, and, and understand that we need to make sure that those excess profits are returned to Canadians, some of them, to help take the pressure off of them. Honourable Member for Thornhill, 20 seconds. I get it that the member doesn't like the opposition motion and perhaps he can use his own day, but the NDP consistently is choosing politics over principle. They are there to protect their own pensions over paychecks of Canadians. They're choosing to tell Canadians about a GST on heating when they voted to triple the carbon tax. They're supporting the government. The Resuming 